this is Vishali from Vishwaraj classes. Today we are going to continue our chapter arithmetic progression of standard 10. Why I said continue because already the two videos of this chapter are uploaded on our YouTube channel Vishwaraj classes. In one video we have explained the meaning of arithmetic progression and the simple terms involved in this arithmetic progression. In the second video we have explained the formula for the nth term of AP and we have also solved the different type of sum based on that formula. If you have not yet watched those two videos, please watch those two videos. The link of the same is given in the description box. Now, let us move further for the next concept of this chapter. That is how to find the sum of the first n terms of AP. Now, for this let us consider one AP with the terms A1, A2, A3, a4, A5 and so on. So let us see how to find the sum of the n terms. For example, just I will consider first 5 terms. Sn is the, uh, we can say Sn denotes the sum of first n terms of a b. We will just check how to find this S5. What is the meaning of S5? Means sum of the first 5 terms of AP. That means A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4 plus A5. Sum of the first 5 terms. You know that first term is A. Second term is A plus common difference. That is A plus D. Third term is A plus 2D. So like that I will Replace these terms with A. A2 is A plus D. A3 is A plus 2D. A4 is A plus 3D. And A5 is A plus 4D. Let us see what we get here. A plus A plus A plus A plus A. We have 5A. D plus 2D, 3D, plus 3D, 6D, plus 4D we get 10D. Okay, fine. Now, we have to find the formula for Sn in terms of the things we know, that is A, N and D. So, to get the clear formula, what I will do here is, first, I will multiply both the sides by 2. 2 into S5 and 2 into 5A plus 10D. Here I get 10A plus 20D. Now as I said we want the formula in terms of A, N and D. Here 2 into S5 is I will take here 5 common. 5 here 2A plus 4D. I will bring this to below this 5. S5 is equal to 5 upon 2 2a plus this 4 I will write as 5 minus 1 into d. So just check here. What is this 5 here? It is number of terms. n. So here we can write this as sn is n upon 2, 2a plus c, 5. So, here we have n, n minus 1 into d. So, this is our second important formula of this chapter, that is how to find the sum of the n terms of a, b. Sn is n upon 2 into the bracket, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now, we have the formula Sn is n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into b. I will just do one thing here. This a, 2a, I will write as a plus a, n minus 1 into d. What is this a plus n minus 1 into d? You know that it is nth term. n term is last term. So in this formula, we denote the last term as l. Here l is nothing but our nth term. 
So we have one more simple formula of Sn that is Sn is n upon 2 a plus n. When you know the last term of AP, we can use this simple formula. So now we have two formulas for Sn that is n upon 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d and n upon 2 a plus n. Now we will solve the sums based on these two important formulas. Now we will solve one simple example. Here the given AP is 2, 7, 12 and we have to find here sum up to the 10 terms of this AP. So here our first term A is 2. The common difference D is 7 minus 2 that is 5 and number of terms is 10. And what we have to find is sum up to 10 terms. The formula is already written here that is Sn is equal to n upon 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Now let us substitute the values in this formula. Sum up to 10 terms is n is 10 upon 2, 2 into a is 2 plus n minus 1 into d. d is 5 here. Now, if the number of terms, if this n is even number, you can directly cancel here. 2 1s are 2 5s. So, what we get here is 5 into the bracket. 2 2s are 4 plus. If you are quite confident, you can solve it directly. 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 into 5 is 45. So, 5 into 4 plus 45 is 49. So what we have to do here is multiply 5 into 49. 5 nines are 45. 4 comes here. 5 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. So sum up to the 10 terms of this AP is 245. This is how we have to use this SN formula in a simple manner. Now let us see one more example. Here the first term A is 7 and A 13th that is 13th term is 35. Here we have to find the common difference and sum up to the 13th terms. Now before we go for any formula we should know what is the common difference. Already in our first video we have seen the formula for nth term of AP. That is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So here we know that the 13th term is 35. So let us write 13th term that is nth term is 35. First term is 7. And as it is 13th term value of n is 13. 13 minus 1 into d. Let us take this 7 here. When we shift this 7 here, it becomes minus 7 is equal to 13 minus 1 is 12 d. 35 minus 7. 35 minus 7 is 28. Is 12 into d. So here d is 28 upon 12. Now here 28 upon 12, we can cancel this only by 4. 4, 7s are, 4, 3s are. Don't bother whether your D is 0, decimal number, negative number. Your common difference can be any rational number. It can be positive, negative, fraction, proper, improper, anything. So don't bother. Just be confident of the solving here. Now here, first part is done. That is value of D is 7 upon 3. Now our second question is find S13. So to find S13, we know that A is 7. Here A13 is our last term. That is 13th term. That means the value of L is 35 and number of terms is 13. So just check the values here. We can use our simple formula of SN. That is N upon 2 A plus L. Let us substitute S13 is 13 upon 2 into the bracket a is 7 and 13 term 
that is last term is 35. Here n is odd number, so we cannot cancel this by 2. So let us get this 2 as it is first. 7 plus 35. 7 plus 35 is 42. Yes, now this sum is even number. So now we can cancel this. 2 ones are 2 into 21. So let us multiply 13 into 21. We get uh, 13 ones are 13, 26, 273. So sum of 30 terms is 273. Now in our previous video and this video, we have seen that our arithmetic progression chapter is based only on these formulas. Sum of the n terms and the n term of the arithmetic progression. Here, no question is asked from this chapter which is not based on this formula. Means whatever questions will be asked from the arithmetic progression chapter will be based on this formula. You will find that some of the questions are a little bit complicated, but they will be based only on these formulas. So how those complicated sums are solved? So one or two examples of those complicated sums I will solve in my next video. So be in touch, subscribe my channel and thank you for watching this video.